It's just a tiny crack. Not a big deal, right? True, if it wasn't a fracture in a stone wall of a gigantic dam. It prevents trillions of gallons of water from wiping several cities and towns off the face of the Earth. Unfortunately, the crack goes unnoticed. Under the immense pressure, it starts growing, inch by inch, almost imperceptibly. Still, not a big deal, just a sign the material is wearing out. But then, the inevitable happens. An earthquake isn't even that strong, 5 on the Richter scale. Most people, sound asleep in their beds that night, fail to notice the ground shaking. Normally, the dam would easily withstand this natural disaster, but only if it was as strong as it used to be. And it's not. The earthquake becomes the last straw. The dam starts to break apart. First, several thin streams of water rush down the stone wall. The cracks keep growing. Chunks of concrete fly high into the air under the pressure of water that's trying to escape its confines. Finally, with a horrifying crash, the wall gives way. Giant waves of water gush toward the first sleeping city on its way. It's early morning hours. People, unaware of the approaching wall of water, have no time to evacuate or even prepare for the disaster. When the blood-curdling roaring draws them out of their slumber, they can only panic. Men and women swoop their kids up and frantically search for high ground. The streets get instantly flooded. The water's littered with books from local libraries, unsliced foot-long bread rolls from subways, stuffed toys, clothes, garden furniture. An enormous wall of water, like a river, is moving further, submerging everything on its way. It leaves nearly nothing in its wake. No trees, no buildings, no parks, no playgrounds. Just a bit of grass. A tsunami-like wave wipes out millions of acres of farmland. And since it's the time right before the fall harvest, millions of people go days and even weeks with very little food. The possibility of famine becomes unnervingly real. The dam's also the main hydroelectric power station in the region. Its failure leads to massive power outages. People miles away from the area hit by the disaster have no electricity. It means no fresh water, problems with food, failing cell networks, you name it. The water from the broken dam floods dozens of towns and cities within 24 hours. Along the way, it sweeps away bridges, wipes off highways, tears pipelines. An area as big as the entire state of New Jersey gets covered with water at least one foot deep. Many places, though, are under 16 feet of water. Wastewater treatment plants in all of the affected cities are flooded. It adds sewage to the flowing streams. This, along with the substances from several damaged chemical plants, turns the water into a mixture of toxic stuff. Days later, everything's still muddy. There's no fresh water. People start to get ill. It's almost impossible to evacuate them from the affected areas. The mud prevents rescuers from using wheeled vehicles. Boats are also useless because most of the water is already drained. Low-lying towns and cities with millions of inhabitants become deserted. Well, that wasn't much fun. If you think this catastrophic scenario can only happen in a natural disaster movie, I have some bad news for you. Among 57,000 large dams in the world, there are dozens that can fail at any moment with no or very little warning. Weeks-long heavy torrential rains in China in June 2020 led to the worst flooding in recent years. The Yangtze River was way above the flood level, and the Three Gorges Dam, one of the largest in the world, had a hard time trying to manage the strain. The building pressure started to deform it. Experts were even afraid the huge construction could fall apart. Some of the water was released to relieve the pressure. The situation was no joke. If the Three Gorges Dam fails, more than 400 million people downstream will be in harm's way. Unfortunately, this possibility is alarmingly real. If smaller and older dams upriver fail, the main one won't be able to withstand the pressure. The fourth largest in the Middle East, the two-mile-long Mosul Dam was built on unstable ground. That's why the massive construction began to move. This movement was incredibly slow. But for a dam of such size, it could mean an upcoming disaster. If a mere 26% of the dam failed, 
it would cause a flood of catastrophic proportions. It was clear the dam was in dire need of repair. In the process, constructors were injecting the dam with a cement mix. Now, several years later, the dam isn't in danger of collapsing anymore. With 200 new mechanisms, it's way more advanced than before. And still, some experts are sure all these measures are only a temporary solution. They say the maintenance can make the dam's lifespan longer, but it's just delaying the disaster. Six million people living along the Tigris's banks and further should be ready to evacuate at any moment. If a dam across the Periyar River in Kerala, India collapses, three and a half million people downstream will be in great danger, at risk of being swept away by a raging torrent. And the dam is bound to crumble sooner or later. It was built more than a century ago. The materials it was made of have become weaker and started to break up. Already, 40 years ago, the construction had minor cracks and leaks. That's when experts found out the dam wouldn't be able to live through even an earthquake of 6 on the Richter scale. And earthquakes are very common for that area. Luckily, none of them have been strong enough to cause serious damage to the monster construction. Yet. The Attics and Barker dams were built to the west of Houston in the 1940s. They were supposed to hold back regular torrential rains and make sure the city wasn't wiped off the map. For more than 70 years, the dams have been preventing huge amounts of water from reaching flood-prone Buffalo Bayou. It has saved the country $4.6 billion. But these days, the dams have become high-risk, rather old, they're wearing out. Already in 2009, the dam started to fail after more than 9 inches of rain fell in 24 hours. After that downpour, the Attics and Barker dams were named among the country's six most hazardous. During Tropical Storm Harvey in 2017, the water in both Attics and Barker reservoirs overtopped the banks for the first time in history. Thousands of cubic feet of water per second rushed into the neighborhoods, flooding hundreds of homes with more than 5 feet of water like the house I grew up in. It was terrible. But if the dam fails, it'll dwarf everything that's happened before. The Fort Peck Dam is around 80 years old. Some experts consider it one of the most hazardous in North America. The main problem? The dam's construction. It was built out of a mixture of water and mud that was brought from both upstream and downstream of the place. This technic isn't safe for dam construction, and there have been cases where dams built this way collapsed. If the Fort Peck Dam failed because of a natural disaster, like a flood or an earthquake, there would only be several hours to evacuate people. Then the dam would break apart and the water would come, hard and fast. The scale of the disaster would depend on how full the dam was at the time it failed. In the worst-case scenario, the water would completely flood 12 towns and cities within 33 hours. It would also knock down five other dams on its way, along with bridges, highways, and pipelines. People living in a small town wedged between the Sierra Nevada steep slopes know their fate would be tragic should the dam on Lake Isabella, just a mile up the road, fail. If the lake's full at that moment, nothing will save their businesses and lives. The stakes are high not only for 4,000 people living near the dam, but also for 340,000 residents of Bakersfield, 40 miles down the Kern River Canyon. Several years ago, the 67-year-old dam had a couple of huge problems. It was eroding internally. During extreme flooding, water could flow over the dam's top. It was also built directly along an active fault line. In other words, an earthquake can happen there at any time, and the not-so-strong dam won't withstand such a natural disaster. Right now, the dam is getting reinforced, and the repair project should be completed in 2022.